Larry here from AmmoNYC.com. Now the detailing industry has evolved drastically over the past few years. Today manufacturers are designing high-tech tools and products that allow detailers to create perfect works of art in a way that's much safer and easier than ever before. In today's episode, I'll walk you through my top five tools that have changed the detailing industry forever. So here we go. Number five on my top five list is the microfiber cutting pad. This tool virtually eliminates the need for aggressive wool or foam cutting pads on a rotary. Now the rotary and wool pads are still a staple in the body shop industry for heavy wet sand removal, but as a detailer, these pads allow you the ability to correct major paint defects with a dual action type polisher, which was never possible before. Let's take a closer look at the pads themselves. Microfiber pads can differ in a few ways, including the type of foam backing, the actual microfiber material, and the length of the pile itself. Most backings are either open cell or closed cell foams with varying degrees of depth. Closed cell backing, seen here, have a much tighter or stiffer foam composition which transfers the power of the machine quickly to the microfiber pile and it's great on hard paints. Open cell backing allows for greater airflow because the pores are larger and can absorb the power and heat, making them safe and easy to use especially on soft paints. The most recent variations include pile height and a wide range of foam backing depths that manipulate the transfer of power from the machine to the paint based on the combination of the pad's material, its overall size, plus its depth. These are some things to think about when you're choosing a pad. I get so excited about this tool because it almost completely negates years of learning how to safely operate a rotary machine. Now you can use a dual action polisher and get an even better swirl free paint correction. Number four should be no surprise to anyone because we're talking about automotive clay bars. Now the first form of clay was used in a body shop in Japan in the 1980s to remove overspray without having to compound the paint. Soon after we realized it's not only good for overspray, but for metal shavings from brake dust, road dust, and environmental fallout. It has since been adapted to microfiber towels and even to pads designed for dual action polishers. Clay is very sticky, and without lubrication, it's impossible to use effectively. After your car has been washed, use spray wax, clay lube, or car soap and water as lubrication. Clay works by friction, not pressure. So what that means is you want to move your hand in quick back and forth motions, not by pushing hard. The clay stickiness pulls the embedded contaminants from the surface of the paint, leaving a smooth surface. Be sure to use plenty of lubrication when using a clay bar. In this example, I'm using spray wax because I'm only working an isolated area of paint contamination. However, if I was claying the entire vehicle, I would use the foam or suds after a wash to save product, time, and of course money. Work the clay in straight lines with light pressure and quick arm motions. The contaminants in the paint will now be embedded in the clay. After one or two panels, or when the clay becomes full, twist or knead the material until a fresh area is exposed. Flatten into a hamburger shape and continue. And remember, if the bar happens to fall on the floor, throw it away immediately. My third favorite tool is coatings. In the last four to five years, chemistry has allowed us to create products with unique chemical resistant properties referred to as coatings. These liquids are extremely hydrophobic and adhere to the clear coat to help protect the material beneath it. Some coatings can be tricky to install and will require adequate time for drying or curing before removal. Coatings are great as the foundation or last line of defense when protecting your paint, especially when paint sealants and waxes are layered on top. A common misconception is that once a coating is applied, regular maintenance of properly washing, drying, sealing, and waxing your car is unnecessary, and that's just not true. Coatings are not magic potions that solve all of your car care needs. They are, however, a fantastic addition to the team of products used to protect the depth and shine of your car's finish, especially in today's harsh environment. Coatings should be applied directly to the surface of the paint, so washing with dish soap or wiping with isopropanol might be necessary based on the current condition of your car. Apply the coating evenly and make sure to read the directions for cure times and removal procedures. Once installed and properly cured, add paint sealant, then wax for a warm, 
deep glow, and to protect the coating itself. The next item was chosen because it drastically shrunk the learning curve when polishing your paint. And of course, I'm talking about the dual action polisher. These machines have bridged the gap between professional detailers and weekend warriors. Rotary polishers were once thought of as the go-to machine for paint restoration, but are now somewhat antiquated within the industry. The latest version of polishers incorporate power and speed of a rotary with the safety and ease of a basic DA machine. There are many different dual action polishers available that vary in power, weight, rotation, and even orbital throw. But whichever DA you're comfortable with, microfiber cutting pads are vital to its paint correcting capabilities. If I had to predict the next advancement in polishers, it would be the combination of dual action forced rotation with a throw of 15 to 20 millimeters. Only time will tell, but I can't wait to see what's next. My number one item that's changed the detailing industry is something that you may have overlooked because it's so common and integrated into the detailing community. And I'm talking about microfiber towels. Microfiber is a synthetic material made from the combination of polyester and polyamide. It's appropriately named because the fibers are roughly 1 60th the size of a human hair, making it finer than most silks. Although microfiber dates back to the late 1970s and was originally used for clothing and the textile industries, it wasn't until the early 2000s that this material was marketed to the car cleaning industry and its impact on the detailing community can't be overstated. I believe this to be the best product advancement for a few reasons. It's cost effective to make and relatively cheap to buy. It picks up products, dust, and dirt, and traps the particles inside, safely protecting the paint from scratches. And finally, they're extremely durable and can be safely cleaned in a washing machine. Microfiber comes in many different sizes and densities, measured as grams per square meter, or GSM for short. GSM can range from roughly 200 to 600, but the optimal weight for me is 300 GSM. This ensures the durability of the towel without sacrificing its pickup ability. So those are my top five tools for perfect paint. Check out AmmoNYC.com for a downloadable PDF recap of today's episode. Now the detailing industry is evolving daily because of our obsession with driving and protecting our cars, and I can't wait to see what's coming out next. This item or something? The next item was chosen. I got it. Ready? Yep. The next item was chosen because it drastically shrunk the learning curve when polishing your paint. And of course, I'm talking about the dual action polisher.